Hello and welcome everyone to this video on setting up SAP Gateway for OData by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can set up our SAP Gateway for OData. Now, what is this particular SAP Gateway? So SAP Gateway is a component in our OData services. Basically, it is nothing but a tool in our OData services where we can test our OData services locally. That is, whatever operation that you are writing, whatever logic you are writing in your OData services, it needs to be tested first before the deployment. So here we can test our OData services using SAP Gateway Client. Also, we can see error logs using our SAP Gateway Client. So SAP OData Gateway is a technology that enables the integration of SAP systems. So what you are doing here, you will be integrating your SAP systems with other applications. So you will be integrating your SAP system with the other applications, services and devices using the open data protocol. So using this particular technology, you can integrate your SAP system with the other applications, other front-end application. It can be built on UI5 theory or any other tool. And you will be using here open data protocol, which is nothing but commonly known as OData. Aware OData is a standardized protocol for creating and consuming queryable and interoperable SQL APIs. So here in OData, what you do, you will be creating and consuming queryable and interoperable RESTful applications. Now see how we can set up our SAP gateway for OData services. The first way is you can use this particular transaction code slash and let me just copy it slash and slash IWFND slash ment M-A-I-N-T underscore service. Let me just copy paste it here. Press enter. See, we can use this particular transaction code for our registering our SAP gateway. Or I will show you the simple way for registering our SAP gateway. So you can simply use the service maintenance folder of your OData project. So let me first show to you how we will be doing it. Suppose this is my pro, uh, OData project and here I've already set up my SAP Gateway client. So I'll show you how we can, first I will remove you, click on maintain, click on yes. It will redirect us to that, the particular transaction code which we are using just a few seconds ago, activate and maintenance services. Simply this remove from system alias, then click on this ISF node click on delete, then delete service, click on yes. Click on yes, simple. Just go to back button. Now see, there is nothing. So now I'm going to show you step-by-step -step way how we can set up our SAP gateway for OData. So you will first develop your project. You will write the implementation. Developing project means you will be developing your OData project. Then we will write all your logic of your OData project. Then at last, you will click open this particular service maintenance folder. Oh, wait a minute. So you will click on this open the service maintenance folder. So simply go to this particular service maintenance folder. Then just see here you will click on this register button. You will get a pop-up screen here. And what you will do? Since we want to test our SAP database, SAP O data locally, so I will write here locally and press enter. Then you'll get a pop-up screen. Now in this pop-up screen, you can see a technical model name, which is nothing but your project name underscore MDL. Just cancel it here. 
and go to runtime artifacts. So whenever you generate your O data project, you will get a but this particular class ZAR O data project MDL. Just click, double click on it. It is nothing but but a registered model. Then we have a registered service. So you will be using this. Simply go on local, press enter. You will use this particular model here. Then you will assign your package and press enter. Just assign the transport request. And you can see, you will get the registration status green. So if your registration is successful in your SAP Gateway Service Builder, you will get your registration status as green. Now, how we will be testing your OData project. So you will click on this SAP Gateway Client. And it will redirect you to SAP Gateway Client to a new window. See, in backend, our window is still open. And this is our new window. So here you will directly click on execute button. And if you will be getting the status code as 200, this means that your project is working perfectly. Here you, you can use uh, your entity set to display the data, whatever data is being displayed here. You can use the JSON format from add URI option. Just click on execute. See, your data will be displayed in JSON format as well. So what we learned in this video, that there are mainly two ways to set up SAP Gateway for OData. And what are these ways? The first one is the user transaction code slash send slash IWFND slash MANT slash service or use the service maintenance folder of your OData project. And the easiest and most appropriate way that I prefer is using this particular service maintenance folder. Here you can directly assign your, register your OData service locally and you can test your OData project. So this is all about my service maintenance in, sorry, setting up SAP gateway for OData. So thank you very much. Thank you.